morning everybody how are we doing well it's a morning here today it's everywhere i suppose this is my third attempt now at doing today's wisher first one went right the way through did the whole lot fabulous tom jumped up on we had a nice introduction with tom it was rather fabulous and really good tom being the cat um he's, he's actually fast asleep here now but he was was here and everybody could see him and it was really rather lovely um so i always listen back to these or have a quick view of them to make sure i've not said something i shouldn't have said got something majorly wrong or whatever anything inappropriate um so I'm, I'm there watching and i thought oh this is no good i'd left the fan heater on just over because it was a bit cold in here this morning the noise in the background was horrendous so i had to scrap that one so that was fair enough so then i thought we'll redo it and i've started off and i'm part way through and my camera fell over and tom's moved himself and it's not very good so here we are for a third attempt now for today's witter for witter quilt 10 block number five okay so i can't remember what i said in the first one so it's all going to get all different probably now and i hope i remember to say everything i was saying who knows um block number five i've actually repeated one of the other blocks so you've got the three up there showing um what i want you to do this week is to pick out your favorite of the four we've done already and repeat it okay so i've made another one that was block number one so this is my block number five which is a repeat of that okay you can probably see where i'm going with this i'm, I'm trying to get this design going on so it might go that way or it could go down below and make a nice centerpiece i'm not sure um <laughs> If you're using set fabrics i think that would look superb i really do because me being me and i have no idea what i do when i start i'm using scraps and stuff or at least part things of layer cakes i haven't got enough of those fabrics to repeat anything so i've put the tie color back in all right around the outside and in the middle of that um and i've got all completely different fabrics but i've mirrored 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 the placements with within each block so that you yeah so that you get the design going on um yeah so there we go that's block number five and your challenge is pick whichever one you loved or liked might not have loved any of them um and repeat it and see what you can get as i say if you've got set fabrics going on i reckon that could be quite stunning and i'm in the back of my mind i'm thinking i can't i'm i'm never gonna have time to do it but to do that and then carry on round a couple of i think that would be superb it's never gonna happen because i ain't got time but a set block just that one block kept repeating around because then you would get this going out to the corners and, and yeah i quite like the idea of that but play around with the placement if you'd have turned them and joined this one to that one sort of on top of each other um you'd get a very wide tie area which is fine if that's what you like um but it would make a cross if you had four you get a different design again uh, i don't think with this quilt now that we i've done this i doubt i shall put in any sashings because i'm liking the way they are together so we we'll probably have all sorts of random who knows we'll, we'll see what next week brings but next week's might not be a repeat at all totally up to you all these are are ideas and inspirations for you to do a bit and I think that's fab. All right, so there we go. Now, what else is going on? The first witter, I have to say, I spent quite a long time talking about Tom, the cat. Now, he's actually got his own Facebook page. So those of you that like, like cats, his page is Black Cat Tom. All right, um, and you'll see a lovely picture of him. At the minute, I think the one that's on the header is him sat in a bag on my table here looking at me. <laughs> They do what they want to do don't they he is so spoiled in here he really is spoiled he gets into all sorts of weird things and tells me off and helps me and does stuff and and gets total adoration from the ladies that come in to sit and stitch i, I think everybody so far absolutely adores him in fact i know one lady that 
and doesn't do cats at all. He always sits beside her, beside her work. And they're now very, very good friends. In fact, she's picked him up a couple of times. How cool is that? I'm real chuffed with that. So anyway, so we were talking about Black Cat Tom. So if you fancy having a little look, go over on his page and have a look, Black Cat Tom. Um, maybe follow his page, who knows? See what you think. So what else is going on? Ah, exciting, excitement. I'm actually booked now to go and do the Craft for Crafters show at West Point in Exeter. Okay, so that's in March, I believe. I want to say 23rd, 4th, 5th, something like that. But it's a Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'll be teaching little workshops on my stand. All right, so we get a nice big stand with, with all sorts of quilting stuff around. And I will be teaching you. Um, now, you need to book on those because I can only get just a few on a stand at a time. Uh, and they do tend to go a bit quickly. So do shout that. But what we will be doing... I've been thinking about this over the last few days because I can't get the samples made. Um, and and I would have done them this morning, except I've got to do, I've been doing this. So I had to make me block, do this first. Then I will look to doing the samples. No, I won't. I'm lying. This afternoon, I need to rewrite the, the, write the next bit of the mystery. Anyway, so the samples will be made over the next few days and then I'll put them up for everybody to see. And then you can come along and learn how to do. And I'm thinking we're going to do Japanese folded patchwork. So you'd come out with one little square, which could be used as a coaster or a, a pot stand or something. So it's a useful thing, hopefully. Um, yeah, and we'll do a little bit of hand quilting as well. So you'll learn the applique stitch. So just to tuck it under and make sure you don't see it. But we're going to do some quilting as well, because I'm, th I'm thinking it, if we've got time, I've got to time all of this before I actually advertise it and make it up. But if we've got time, we'll do a little bit of um, quilting on some fabric for the center and then we'll learn the japanese folded which is sort of encompassing a square with a circle okay so i think that would be quite nice and quite useful but it's it you do need to book it all right um and once i've got this all sorted in a couple of weeks time you'll be able to book that online or with me or whatever you want or on the day come the show ah so there we are so that's what that's all about so we've just got to do a few samples it's all good fun right so what else that's exeter very important we we support all of our quilt shows and shows this year i think um it's been an atrocious couple of years for them big organizations and, and sort of big events and stuff apart from the fact that initially they couldn't have any people are uh, a little bit reticent about or or careful about attending and I can't say I blame anybody because we've all got different um, circumstances and we all have different views on things. I know that I did the Malvern Quilt Show back in the autumn. It was a fabulous show. It was one of the nicest I've ever actually done. There was lots of room. Everybody was respectful. Masks were worn. We had a lovely time. And I'm hopeful that West Point is going to be exactly the same. It's not just a quilt show, though. You've got all your crafts there. There will be a lot of quilts about um, from what I'm hearing. But it's all, all craft. So do come and support these shows wherever you are. Um, if we want to keep them, we've got to use them. If we don't use them, who knows? And let's face it, there's nothing better than going and having a little bit of a look at the fabrics and get the colour properly. And is it a good weight? What's the overall design? It's never quite the same as buying online, although I sell online, obviously. In person is such a better thing, isn't it? So let's use these shows, please, all right, if we can. If, you, if, you, if you're into that sort of thing, it would be fabulous to see you. Right, so that's that. Three new designs on the way. Um, samples are just about finished. Two will be kits. They're just nice little um, small things, panels, whatever you want to call them. I've done one as a runner that could be looked at anyway, sort of thing. If you adjust the pattern very slightly and I would show you how to do that it could be a bag you could make it into a bag you could make it into a cushion you could do all sorts of things with it um the other one is a lovely square for the center of a table or a cushion having said that if I've got my calculations right because these will be kits these two you'd have enough fabric in there to make it a bit bigger anyway if you wanted to because um I'm not going to stint with the fabric. I, I want you to have plenty and make sure that you get what you want from it. You could make your runner longer. You could make your square a bit bigger. 
all right make it more useful for you so those will be out very shortly and we've got there's bees and there's hedgehogs and there's snails and the snail is gorgeous i am weird though you know that i like snails so we've got snails but you've got a choice of three different things going on there so that'd be good so once i get my head around that and sorted and there's another a new design and sample's been made that was made by a friend of mine for me bless her carol's made that one for me it's a design from a painting of mine that i did many years ago and the pattern has been drawn for several years and it's i've never got around to making it she's made it for me so that we've got a sample and i can write the pattern um I, i'm totally biased because it's me own and i love it but there we go hopefully other people will as well so i should be teaching that i'll probably teach all of them um as little classes if you want or the patterns will be available or kits okay it's all very exciting stuff um things is picking up again for the year i think now we've had christmas new year i think everybody's getting a little bit more settled as far as life goes um and away we go i think it's fab so nothing much more to say to you other than the three things of a um, little bit of exercise tidying it's not happening here today again as ever it's an absolute well I, I do you know what over new year this place got turned inside out scrubbed top to bottom and all the rest of it and it's a mess again didn't take long um and what was the other oh yeah shout your friends all right make sure everybody's okay i'm guilty in so much as there's several that i need to talk to and i haven't got around to talking to them and I apologise and if you feel um, I should have shouted you and you're watching this, take it that I'm shouting you and saying hello here. That's probably just as well, isn't it? Because it's a bit busy. Okay, so that's about it from me. Have a fabulous weekend and a good week. All right. Take care. Be lovely. <laughs>